government programs to create employment opportunities. Anambra State Deputy Governor Ibezim urges you to shun violence, supports Soludo administration. On national matters, Nigeria collaborates with Italy in fight against terrorism. On the foreign scene, Russia strike devastates cities across Ukraine early today. Before the news in detail, here is a special message. Governor Chukuma Soludo has come for a total turnaround maintenance of Anambra State economy and promotion of core Igbo values. Let's give him maximum support for the task ahead. Good evening and thanks for joining us on ABS Evening News. My name is Chinyere Ikeoreke. Anambra State Governor Professor Chukuma Soludo says his administration will partner the federal government in skill acquisition training to make Indian Anambra, especially youths, self-reliant and job creators. Governor Soludo stated this during the empowerment and resettlement of skilled graduates in Orca North and South and in Demili North and South local government areas by the Federal Ministry of Labor and Employment. Government House Correspondent Emmanuel Okonko tells us more. At the events held at Skill Upgrading and Vocational Training Center in Alo, Idemili South Council Area, a Ministry of Labor and Employment Office in Oka, the beneficiaries were empowered and resettled mostly in the field of irrigation, agriculture, recreational services, hospitality, and engineering with startup equipment, including welding tools, generator sets, hairdressing equipment, and refrigerators, among others. Professor Soludo, who was represented by his deputy, Dr. Onye Kachukui Bezim, described the gesture from the federal government as an act that is in line with the target of his government of training 5,000 persons in different skills and producing 1,000 millionaires yearly, assuring to do everything possible to ensure that their number benefits immensely from the scheme. The governor asked the youths and other interested persons in the state to register under the ongoing skills acquisition programs, learn the skills perfectly, and help in training others to drastically reduce unemployment and criminality in the state. And the beauty of this program here is it cuts across all ages. But here we are not talking of political parties. No, we are talking of the people. Okay, and looking at the centre, wonderful centre, livable centre, you know, proximity to the roads, yeah, and I think we are set to go. Speaking earlier, Sineton Gige reminded the youths on the need to acquire a skill or more in order to survive in the present economic situation of Nigeria, explaining that gone is the era where white-collar jobs are seen as best work to do. Sineton Gige said that the federal and state government will soon sign a memorandum of understanding on the skills acquisition training scheme to ensure that it is sustained. Because seeing is believing. So they have seen and they know that we mean business. So we want to empower people to use their hands and empower themselves, give themselves job, upgrade themselves that, as a, an upgrading center, and then become entrepreneurs when they establish. That's why we are trying to encourage them by giving them what we can call starter packs. In their various speeches, the Director, Skills Development and Certification Department, Federal Ministry of Labor and Employment Headquarters, Engineer Tiza Shaka, and Controller, Anambra State Office of the Ministry, Mrs. Benedine Ojiobuehi, cautioned the beneficiaries against selling the equipment and listed provision of adequate security in and around the training centers, connecting of the centers to public power supply, mobilization of the trainees, and catering for their training needs needs and day-to-day -day running of the skill acquisition centers across the state as issues that need urgent intervention by the government. We also wish to employ all our beneficiaries of this program to maximally utilize this golden opportunity to better their lives to achieve the desired objectives. Please don't sell these equipments. Don't sell this material out to anybody. In Oka, I am Emmanuel Okonkwo reporting for ABS News. Governor Chukuma Saludo has constituted the state boundary committee with the deputy governor, Dr. Onye Kachukui Bezimu, as the chairman. A release signed by the state commissioner for information, Sir Paul Wons, who said members of the committee include the attorney general and commissioner for justice, 
Commissioner for Lands, Commissioner for Finance, Commissioner for Local Government, Commissioner for Information and Commissioner for Budget and Economic Planning. Others are Surveyor General of the State, Chairman State Council of Traditional Rulers, Traditional Ruler of Umumbu, representing Anambra North, Traditional Ruler of Unkulu, representing Anambra Central, Traditional Ruler of Enugu Moya, representing Anambra South, Anambra State Commissioner of Police, State Director of Department of State Services, DSS, and Controller of Immigration. Deputy Governor of Anambra State, Dr. Onye Kachuki Bezimu, has called on youth in the state to shun violence and support the administration of Professor Chukuma Saludo, which has great plans for them and the entire people of Anambra State. Deputy Governor Bezimu made the call in Onichawala addressing youth in the area. Government House Correspondent Emmanuel Okunko tells us more. Dr. Bezim, who said that youths in the state have a lot to benefit from the present government, reminded the youths of the need to desist from any act that can truncate the lofty plans of the government for them. The deputy governor asked them to join hands with Professor Chuko Masoludo and his team to rebuild Anambra into a world-class state instead of fermenting trouble and vandalizing government properties. Asking them to register for the ongoing skills acquisition training in the state, Deputy Governor Ibezim revealed that the state government will soon be giving soft loans to youth entrepreneurs in cooperative societies in the state to help them grow their businesses. Very soon, I will choose security on a no government, they are interest free loan. We never will not have one bond. They train, we will form a chair cooperative. They do a new nego. We are going to give them. Man, they are going to outright empowerment. We are going to see what we are going to do. Speaking at the event, Onisha Youth Leader Mr. Obo Ogazi, on behalf of the youths, thanked the Deputy Governor on the visit and commended the leadership and performance of Professor Sulu Dolead administration, assuring that Onisha Youths are solidly behind this government and will always do the needful to assist in fast-tracking development in the area and the state in general. <laughs> But more time you to yeah. From our nature, I am Emmanuel Okonkwo, reporting for ABS News. Laying of asphalt on the 16.8 kilometers Ajali at Wono Fija Ufuma Ubunka Road is to commence in 15 days' time. The project engineer handling the project, Mr. Said Scarf, announced this while speaking to newsmen shortly after conducting them around the site. Works correspondent Ngozi Obileri, who monitored pace of work on the road, reports that construction started on the road, which has a spur of about 9 kilometers in September 2022. Her report. So far, about 3 kilometers and 200 meters have been primed, while laying of stone base has been completed on 3 kilometers and 600 meters of the road. The road will have two 3x3 three three sizes of box culverts, one 5x5 five five box culvert and two 1x2 one sizes of box culverts. One of the box culverts has been completed while casting of others were ongoing alongside drainage construction on parts of the road. Commenting on the project, engineer Scarf said they are working there and night to meet the September deadline given to them, adding that they are receiving necessary cooperation and encouragement from the state governor, whom he said is wasting no time in providing all they need to fast track the job. We uh, achieved up till now, let me say, five kilo. Uh, it's uh, ready for line drain, both side, and uh, we have uh, uh, stabilization, uh, three kilo and 600 meter, and also we have uh, applied stone base for three kilo and 200 meter, and we did priming for two kilo. The Transition Committee Chairman for Urumba South Council Area, Prince Neville Uchendo, who spoke to journalists at the site, expressed satisfaction with the quality of work going on at the site, as according to him, the road will last more than 30 years after construction. 
Prince Neville added that the area is one of the food baskets of the state and the road will give farmers in the area easy access to their various farms, noting that the road is a major shortcut to neighboring Abia and Imo states. This road, as it touch all these three or four communities, those roads will lead to most of their farmlands. This road is kind of a gateway to two major states. Imo and Abia State. So this role is very, very important. Also speaking, Head of Engineers from Ministry of Work in Charge of Projects, Engineer Chidi Obiudu said they are always at the site to ensure that nobody cuts corners but stick to the specifications, even as he frowned at a machine mechanic workshop which spills grease on the primed road, which he said is serious threat to the lifespan of the road. From Ajale Abu Nofija Ufuma Obunka Road Project, I am Ngozi Obileri for ABS News. Anambra state government has arrested and paraded over 26 persons suspected for touting an illegal revenue collection in Onicha, Ubusi and Upo. The arrests beheaded by the managing director of Operation Clean and Healthy Anambra Ocha Brigade, Comrade Celeste Anere, in conjunction with joint security agencies in the continuation of the state government's effort to rid the state of all kinds of criminal elements and building a state that is investor friendly. We have details. Addressing the press during the parade, Comrade Aniere revealed that the drive is geared towards achieving a livable and prosperous state, hence the continuous raids on major flashpoints of the state and to decongest the roads. He also said the agency will not relent in ensuring free flow of water through the drainages across the state, especially now that the rains are here. The Ocha Brigade boss who spoke through the image maker of the agency, Mr. Anthony Abwefuna, pointed out that the enforcement team apprehended the suspect where they were collecting tax from traders and motorists in Onicha, Obusi and Mpo Metropolis, and assured that the law will take its full course. Some of these vandals, they will continue trying to intimidate, engaging in two things, impersonation and also illegal collection, which is not acceptable. We are not doing the work of intimidation. Our main task and charge is to facilitate the arrest of all those people who indulge in criminalities and hand them over to the legal authority. Some of the suspects, Nonso Ogidi, Uchenna Johnson, and Matthew Mwale, denied the allegation leveled against them and narrated how they were arrested during their legitimate businesses and appealed to be released. Mwale. A driver can go. Yes, every mm. motor where put a monogram now he bridge in that time. Then he would drive a kuchia motor. So he may not kuchia motor. He put a job in office. In office, I can know that above him twenty thousand. Mwa, and I have got a uko sorudo. I can have about three thousand too. Mwa egonji. Now when we are well, has a mwa ritwa. Ka every motor in sogam mwa sobia. So I write a can see but I'm office I'm When ABS News returned, Nigeria to collaborate with Italy in fight against terrorism. Russia strikes devastated cities across Ukraine early today. Here is a special message. Governor Chukuma Saludo has come for a total turnaround maintenance of Anambra State economy and promotion of core Igbo values. Let's give him maximum support for the task ahead. Stay with us. Refreshment is goodness to go round. Introducing the Peak Yogurt Drink 1 Liter Full House Pack with more refreshment, which contains fresh cow milk. Enjoy Full House goodness filled with essential vitamin and minerals. Peak, reach for your peak. Welcome back. And if you're just joining us, you're watching ABS Evening News. Nigeria and Italy have reaffirmed their commitment to strengthening criminal justice and the rule of law in combating terrorism across the globe. This commitment was demonstrated when the two countries co-chaired the seventh plenary meeting of the Global Counterterrorism Forum Criminal Justice and Rule of Law Working Group 
in St. Julian Mata. This is contained in a statement from the Office of the National Security Advisor in Abuja. The Coordinator National Counterterrorism Center reiterated or retired Rear Admiral Yamin Musa said the administration of the criminal justice terrorism related cases could neither be effective or efficient if the rights of those concerned were not protected. Musa, who represented Nigeria at the event, said the effect of lack of protection for witnesses had resulted in the striking out of cases by the court involving heinous crime because witnesses often refused to testify due to the absence of a system designed to cater to their protection. He said that Nigeria had on May 23, 2022, signed the Witness Protection and Management Act into law to address that challenge. Meanwhile, the National Economic Council in Abuja said the federal government to put the June deadline for petrol subsidy removal and hold pending the review of existing plans to provide palliatives for Nigeria. While arguing that the petrol subsidy should not be removed now, the council said the federal government would broaden consultation with state governments and other stakeholders such as labor union, petrol marketers, the Ministry of Finance, Nigerian Upstream Petroleum Regulatory Commission, and representatives of the incoming administration. This expanded committee would determine if the removal can be done by June, as planned, it said. The Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, Zainab Ahmed, disclosed this to State House correspondents shortly after the validatory and neck meeting presided over by Vice President Yemusi Banjo at the Council's Chamber of the Presidential Villa Abuja. She said there might be a need to send a supplementary budget to the National Assembly if the incoming administration aligned with the decision to extend subsidy removal. However, the NEC argued that the subsidy should be removed in a way that does not worsen hardship. On the foreign scene, Russian strike battered cities across Ukraine early Friday, killing at least 12 people in a barrage of measles and drones that kid as hit as Kiev prepares an expected counteroffensive. The deadly attack included a strike on a residential building and came days after the leader of Ukraine and China spoke by phone with Chinese President Xi Jinping reportedly advocating peace negotiation. While Russia regulatory bombed Ukrainian city and infrastructure over the winter, the massive strike had trailed off in recent months. Kiev, which was among the city targeted, had not been hit by Mizad in many more than 50 days. Ukraine President Volodymyr Zelensky condemned the latest barrage and vowed a response to Russian terror. Most fighting is now taking place in the east of the control of the industrial Donbar region, particularly the city of Bamot, which has been almost completely destroyed. Interior Minister Ugo Kelmoko said strikes on the town of Uma, south of the capital Kiev, led to a total of 10 victims, while the mayor of the central city, Floatmonts earlier reported that two people had been killed. Ukraine said it had drawn 21 of 23 Russian missiles and two attack drones overnight. In sport, S Super Eagle coach Sandy Olisa has labored Unai Emre, the best coach of the era, following his impressive work since joining English Premier League side. Austin Villa. The Spanish coach joined the Villian in October 2022 from Villarreal. His move to join the English was questioned by many owing to the fact that the English side were going through a terrible time, winning just two league games and sit barely above the relegation zone. The Spaniards took over from Steven Gerrard's position at Villa Park and has since done the fortune of the club run. Aston Villa defeated Fumal 1-0 to move to the fifth on the log with 54 points, a big achievement for a team battling relegations some months ago. Emery boasts some impressive records since taking over at Villa Park. No team in the Premier League have won more points than his side in 2023, having won 36.2 points more than Manchester City and four more than Arsenal. That's the size of our packet tonight, but remember that you can follow news and programs on ABS from any part of the world by liking our Facebook page at ABS Radio Television Oka. Subscribe to our YouTube at youtube.com forward slash ABS Television Oka. Follow us on Instagram at ABS Radio TV. You can also log on to our website at www.absradiotv.com. 
The main point again, Anambra State Government is to partner federal government in skill acquisition programs to create employment opportunity. Anambra State Deputy Governor Ibezimu has urged youth to shun violence support Saludo's administration. On national matters, Nigeria is to collaborate repeatedly in fight against terrorism. And on the foreign scene, we told you Russian strike has devastated cities across Ukraine early today. Here is a special message again. Governor Chukuma Saludo has come for a total turnaround maintenance of Anambra State economy and promotion of core Igbo values. Let's give him maximum support for the task ahead. Thanks for being there. My name is Chinyere Ikureke. Good night.